Hi, I'm Chris Beauchamp, Developer Evangelist at Aptelligent. This video is an overview of the Aptelligent User Flow Solution, an industry-first tool optimized for mobile and connected apps. The solution enables companies to define, monitor, and manage in real time the user flows that have the greatest impact on user experience and bottom line growth. I'm going to give a quick demo on how to use this solution to accelerate your mobile business. I just pushed an update to my app in the App Store this afternoon, and I want to see how it is performing. I just received an Apptelligent alert telling me that there's been a spike in the revenue risk of my app. Let's see what's going on. This is the user flow dashboard, which shows real-time metrics on all of the critical user flows in my mobile app. Looking at the high-level metrics here, we can see that there's been a huge increase in revenue risk in the past hour. This is the amount of revenue potentially lost because of failed user flows. We see that the success rate across all of my user flows has dropped as well. Based on the graph of the top failed user flows, we can see that the checkout user flow has the highest rate of failure. Now let's take a look at all of the individual user flows in my app. We can see key metrics such as the average time it took to complete each user flow and the number of times the user flow failed. Right now it's sorted by revenue at risk. The checkout user flow is putting the most revenue at risk, so let's investigate it. Drilling into the checkout user flow, we can see that there's been a big drop in the success rate. Looking at the graphs, we see that the drop occurred in the last 10 minutes or so as users started using the new version of my app. We can also see the revenue impact of the failure here. There's been an increase in both the average and total revenue risk for this user flow, and it's something we need to fix. So why did it fail? There's three ways the user flow can fail. If it's due to a crash that kicks the user out of the app, if the user flow was manually aborted, or if the user flow took too long and timed out. In this case, we see that there was a spike in the number of crashes. Looking at the root cause analysis tab, we can see all of the crashes that have occurred while a user was in the middle of this checkout flow. If we sort these crashes by the number of occurrences, we can see that there was a crash during the purchase handler method. We can click on this method and see the symbolicated stack trace with the file and line of code where the crash occurred. However, it's odd that this occurred during this method because we had excellent test coverage for this part of the code. Let's go back and see what specific users did when this user flow failed. Clicking on the user flow trace tab, we can replay a session on an individual user basis who experienced a failed checkout flow. We can sort this list of user flow traces by the revenue risk and focus on the users who had the most revenue at stake. Drilling into one of these users, we can see the latest events leading up to a failed user flow. Here is where you can see all of the network requests, changes to network state, and logs for that user session. In this case, the user switched from a fast 4G LT connection to Edge and clicked on the store, finally calling an API to get an inventory list. This network request took over three seconds, which was a bad user experience. Luckily, that user continued the user flow, added an item to the shopping cart, and tried to check out. However, the user's network connectivity got worse. They ended up losing connectivity completely, so when they tried to complete that purchase, their app couldn't connect to the payment provider. And that's why the app crashed. The purchase handler wasn't tested for cases where the user was disconnected from the internet. So let's push out an update to the app that takes this into account. And there you have it. In less than five minutes, we were able to recognize a potentially huge drop in revenue in the app, pinpoint the exact file and line of code causing the problem, and discover an issue that would have been almost impossible to find during testing.